we're going to make a fire extinguisher here. It's our old favourite, vinegar and bicarbonate of soda, so it works well when you're teaching changing materials, irreversible reactions and also gases around us. What you're doing here is making a fire extinguisher. So that you can demonstrate that it works, let's make a fire by lighting these night lights. I've put them in the bowl. The bowl will hold the gas, the carbon dioxide, which is going to put them out. The bowl will hold the carbon dioxide on top of the night lights. Don't, Don't burn your fingers. <laughs> So how many night lights can you put into a bowl? Or oh, as many as you want or as few as you want. Well done. Okay, now, a large spoonful of bicarbonate of soda in the jug. So just one? I would have thought a, one large one should do it. Perhaps a little bit more than that if you've got it in there. Yep. And now you're going to pour on some vinegar. How much do I pour? About that much, I would think. Perhaps do it slowly and watch the reaction. Okay. It's an irreversible reaction. You can see the carbon dioxide coming off. That's beautiful. You can see the carbon dioxide rising up there. Gases expand. I've suggested you do this in a jug because it's got a lip which allows you to pour the carbon dioxide. And it's important to wait until it's stopped fizzing. You'll see it's starting to go down a bit now. Because while it's fizzing, the carbon dioxide's splatting all out all over everywhere. But when it, cut, when it dies down, you'll be able to pour the carbon dioxide onto the night lights. Right. This experiment works because carbon dioxide is heavy. So it'll stay in the jug. Helium will put a flame out if you could hold it over the night lights. But of course, helium is so light that it whizzes up in the sky the minute you've made it. Carbon dioxide's really heavy. Now, it obviously works better if we have the lights down. So I'm going to suggest that we dim the lights. And if you'd like to pour the carbon dioxide carefully over the night lights. Oh. See how they go out. That's amazing. The big red fire extinguishers you've got in school yes. are just carbon dioxide. We've got a slightly less smelly way of making it. It's not actually vinegar. It's pressurised carbon dioxide. But it's exactly the same effect here as you've got here. You're pouring carbon dioxide, which is heavy, and it sits on top of the night lights and stops them getting any oxygen so they can't burn anymore. 